There have been a lot of murders and violent assaults on the metro trains and buses in Los Angeles. So this is October 2024. I'm taking my bike on the train to find out if it's safe to ride the train in Los Angeles. So to start out, I need to take my bike on the elevator, but the cops are arresting a guy in the elevator. So I had to go across the street to the other elevator. Fortunately, there were two of them. And then get in the elevator to get up to the train to see if it's safe. This video is not about whether the trains are hygienic. It's kind of fun to go in the elevator and see if you can hold your breath all the way up and guess what the stains on the floor are. <laughs> if you dare to push the button with your finger or you use your, your shoe. But anyway, we get up to the platform and the train comes in and there are some people that are on the train that don't get off. I've always seen that. There are people who live on the train. So in this case, there were three of them. And I'm on my bike, I like to bring a chain bike lock with a big heavy padlock on the end of it just for self-defense purposes. So you can kind of lay it across like that, or you can wear it around your neck like a scarf. I've seen some of the OG guys that ride the train every day wear it that way. And then there is a special parking spot for your bike that looks like this. So there's a picture of a bike there and you can easily fit a bike in there. And if we look behind it, you can see two people sleeping in the front of the car. And then there's another guy that's sleeping in the back who's got a bike and a whole bunch of all of his worldly possessions back there. So there are still people who are inhabitants of the train on a semi-permanent basis, it looks like. And look out the window and I can see the cops taking the guy they arrested out of the other elevator off to the station. And this is nine o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. This is at the Redondo Beach Station, which is the end of the green line on the beach end. And I'm gonna show you where we're gonna go. So we're basically taking the green line up all the way to the blue line, Rosa Park Station, and then taking that all the way to downtown where we're gonna do a big group bike ride in the streets that should be pretty awesome. So the bike is tucked in carefully. If you do use a bike, you definitely wanna stand next to it and hold onto it or it'll roll and fall over and, and cause chaos in the train car. And they've also put up a sign that tells you what kind of bikes to bring. And you can see they don't want anything long, no recumbents, no big giant ones, no mopeds, no trailers. So now at Crenshaw Station, these four armed guards, not cops, but they are actually armed security guards wearing Metro vests that work for a private company carrying guns. So four guys with guns get on and they're looking very intently at the sleeping people. And I saw more of those armed guards as I got closer to LA. And at the Rosa Park Station, I took the elevator down and met a really nice elevator attendant. <laughs> okay, oh, down. Down. oh, um, down please. Second floor? Yeah. All right, thank you. I'm working at elevators again. Oh, that's good. I'm just undercover, you know. Oh, you can charge your phone in there, too. That's awesome. Yeah, not, not for long. And the rest of the blue line was pretty uneventful to downtown, and I did see more of those security guards in the vests. Getting off the train was uneventful, and then we did a street takeover, rode all around L.A., and then jumped back on the blue line to go back home. So now it's about 2.30 in the afternoon, heading southbound on the blue line. It was a Sunday, the day of the Dodgers versus Mets playoff game, and I did notice that there were a bunch of security guards wearing the vests carrying guns at most of the stops. And at the Rosa Parks station where the blue line meets the green line, the elevator that takes you up to make the transfer was out of commission. So I had to take my bike up the escalator. That's not an issue for me. I'm reasonably strong. The bike's about 50 pounds. It's an e-bike. But if you're weak or have injuries or are riding a super heavy e-bike, you're going to have some trouble if this happens to you. And then as I get up onto the platform to wait for the train here along the beautiful freeway, I noticed that there are a lot of these guys. These are not the same as the guys with vests. These guys do not have guns. So this is, I think when we defunded the police and we talked about getting mental health workers and people who weren't violent, that's what these guys are. You can ask them to help you. You can ask them to call a real cop. They call them Metro ambassadors. So there was probably 15 of them getting on the train at that point. And then when I get to my final destination, the last stop on the green line, I get out of the train and I notice there is a big, beautiful pistol packing mama in a vest with a gun getting on the train to clear it out. So that's how safe it is on the train these days.